Hi, I'm Alex Weiss, Wealth Manager at U.S. Wealth Management, and I'm here with John Napolitano, CEO of U.S. Wealth Management. You know, John, when, when a lot of people start their first job, they're forced to make a lot of decisions about their benefits, life insurance, and retirement plans on their first day of work, and most people don't look at it again. Can you give us some advice on that, please? Yeah, absolutely. Good question, man. It's not a set it and forget it thing. You know, on the first day of work, we've all been there. You get all these piles of paper in front of you, given more signatures than a rock star. You're feeling really important, but you're making decisions about your retirement plans, your benefits, your insurances, and those decisions are, you know, part of your life. You've got to keep them current and updated. So what I like to suggest to people is that they don't just set it and forget it, that they go in and look at that stuff again. Let me give you an example of what some of that stuff is. Let's talk about your 401k plan, for example. You have a few choices day one. One is how much to contribute. Did you do 3%, 10%, 20% or more? The next is when you contribute, where's the money going? Did you choose investments based upon your risk tolerance as a 30-year-old or as a 60-year-old? So you really want to look at that on a regular basis. Even the investments chosen within the 401k plan, you don't want to just uh, set it and forget it. The next thing you want to take a look at might be your beneficiary elections. You know, a beneficiary election is for when you pass away. Uh, what happens to that money? And routinely, most folks leave it to a spouse, maybe then remaining equally to the children. And just like our trust discussion in a prior conversation, you know, you don't want to leave a big slug of 401k assets to a 21-year-old child. So you really need to be careful about those beneficiary elections and make sure that they're, they're accurate for you. Um, another thing to think about is, you know, how much insurance do you need? So you're making decisions on how much life insurance to get the day you start this job. And again, many just check the box, move on, and don't even think about it again. But I think the right way to do it is to figure out exactly what you need, what the options are inside the benefit plan, and then you go ahead and find out, you know, if it's best to get it there or buy your own private coverage. Thanks, John. That was great. All right.